Okay, so this is my second day in London. Uh, I got here yesterday. I didn't record any of the travel. One, because I was kind of um, had like a little documenting hangover. Uh, just the whole Montana trip and everything getting started with a new job was uh, fun to document, but like just wanted to put the camera away for a couple days. Eric and I celebrated our anniversary, didn't take the camera, didn't do any of that. Uh, flew up Monday morning at like 6 o'clock, traveled all day, had a layover in Dallas, landed in London at like 6 in the morning, which was like 1 o'clock at night. Literally took the tube from the airport, went to Google London, and then worked till like 7 last night. Had dinner at Google, came back to the hotel. Day two, feeling good. Like, this is honestly really bittersweet. I'm super pumped to be here in London. It's, it's an amazing time. It's fun to design and be like real heads down all in one room, locked for a couple days working on things. I'm in a new city, came all the way over here and want to like just go explore and see all of London, but realistically only have a couple hours after work uh, between dinner and going to bed um, to get that done. Also trying to do like jet lag and being rested. So not really sure how much of London I'm actually going to be able to see. The good thing is like the London office here, I think we're in um, King's Corner area. Beautiful, like the office is probably one of the nicest Google offices I've ever seen. Um, it's got great views of, of the city. But feel good. It's like seven in the morning. Gonna get some breakfast and head over to the office. So this month has probably been one of the busiest months in probably a couple years. It's been a little insane. We we went on vacation, we took a trip, road trip, work trip to Montana, as you saw in last week's video. I started a new job, which aside from starting the new job is like new insurance, new benefits, payroll, figuring all those logistic things out. We're also selling um, a house that we have that we've been renting for the past couple years. So my wife's been dealing with that. And then on top of all of that, um, my second third-ish week. Took a trip to London to work with some of my teammates, some from Munich, some from London, some from San Francisco. So all of that came to collision in like four weeks uh, and it's just been been hectic but uh but been generally good. I'm recording this now a week after that starting my week new. I'm back on my diet eating keto back in ketosis feeling really good and productive. Excited for some other video things that I have planned. For this video there's one thing that I, I wanted to record actually in London didn't have a lot of time given our schedule there. I know there's a lot of designers that watch these videos and so I wanted to give some design specific things and some thoughts and ideas that I had that week that would be potentially helpful or give more insight into to what uh, you just saw in the video. So this last week, the main theme 
that like just was rang so true to me. And this is like a common thing down at Google. It's a, a big part of design sprints. But I just wanted to talk about it because I think it's so critical and it was really, I think it's so critical for my design process. And it was just a week that I was, you know, neck deep in it and it felt good. And I think it worked very well. And I sure, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this concept, but I just wanted to talk about it on the vlog because uh, for me, the process for it, especially with working with other designers, is so healthy. And it's simply the theme of divergence and convergence. And this is seen in like design sprints and, and different ways people work. But to have the three or four themes that we had, take one of them and have five designers diverge on their own, express as many of their own ideas and explore different solutions for a specific time boxed amount of time, share those things, whether it's on a whiteboard, printed out on a screen, screen sharing, and then converge as a team and really see what was resonating for each of us and other people's examples of work. So I would do 10 or 15 ideas around a topic, share those things. Everyone says, hey, that first and sixth thing were really cool. Let's like remember those. And so then when everyone starts to converge, you start to see themes and similar thinking come out in everyone's explorations. Then you can narrow down the options and the solutions, diverge again and then converge and share, and then narrow down. And I think this is like a, a common practice for many designers, but I think this is very core to how a lot of UXers at Google work. Um, and I think it's a very healthy and creatively efficient way to explore a lot of things without deciding too early, and also giving people freedom to think for themselves, while also giving the team unity and ability to critique and agree and disagree in kind of a formal process that is very democratized. So if you want to know more about like this way of designing um, or product thinking, Jake Knapp obviously wrote the, the sprint book from GV. I'll link that in the comments. Uh, obviously there's a lot of people like Google Ventures, um, Burke and a lot of people that were a part of that. Couldn't recommend that book highly enough. Um, I've been through training here at Google for that and really believe in that methodology of designing. Let me know in the comments if you, did, if you haven't designed like this. I would love to know um, what your thoughts on it are. If you do design this way or have designed this way and think it doesn't work well, I would love to hear those perspectives as, as well. For me, I think it's it's the lifeblood of how I'm able to be creative and also um, work with a team, a broader team, and get consensus. That's it. I'm really honestly don't want to talk much more because I'm getting back to work. Thanks for watching these. As always, uh, I'm going to do another Q&A soon, probably this next week or the week after and want to start working in other little micro content. If you have any ideas or things that you think would be helpful for me to post or ideas for other series of videos that you would uh, be interested in me investing some time in, let me know. I'm always looking for new content to post here. Thanks again. See you guys next week.